What's up guys, this is Kenny with KLC Construction and Roofing and in today's video I'm going to show you how to walk on a clay S-tile without breaking any of them. I'm also going to show you how to remove them. If you follow these steps, you will not break any tile and you'll be a hero. All jokes aside, thanks for tuning into the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, drop a comment, a like, or a subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and I'm going to keep coming out with more how-to content. So, thanks a lot. Hey, let's go Dingo. Come on, get to work. Here's a look at some of the tools that I'm gonna be bringing with me. I got my flat bar, my cat's paw, which is a nail puller, some chem link to seal the nail holes, and my tool bag. Also, whenever you're working on a ladder, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the ladder is properly secured. So right here, I'm using a gutter guard that goes in between a gutter nail. This stops the ladder from going left to right when I'm getting on and off the roof. Sorry for the shaky footage, guys, but I'm gonna try and walk and record here. So, if you could see how I have my foot angled, I am going in between on the bottom part of the S. The reason I'm doing that is because that is the strongest part of the tile. It's laying flat on the plywood. Also, you're going to want to walk on the edge of the tile where it's butted up with the other ones. So it's essentially double th thickness. You do not want to walk on the top of the barrel like this or across the barrel like how I'm about to show you. You will break these tiles. They will snap like crackers if you put all your weight on there. I'm about 165 pounds, and if I just stick my foot in the crease like that, I have zero issues. Another really good tip for walking on tiles like this is to distribute your weight evenly. So sometimes I actually bear crawl up these tiles just to make sure that I don't break them. When you have weight in all four corners, it takes off so much pressure on just a single tile. Now it's time to start removing the tile. A friend of mine hired me to do this job because he owns an HVAC company and they need to walk on the roof, and he knew that he couldn't walk on the roof, carry all his equipment without breaking the tile. So I'm gonna start from the very top and work my way down. Right here, you can see me, I'm trying to lift up the counter flashing to kind of break the seal on this mortar. Um, all I'm doing is taking a flat bar in there and just working it out. You don't wanna pry on that flashing too much and distort it and really break it because that flashing is vital to keep water out from the stucco in the roof to wall area. So you'll see here, I'm just gonna kind of slowly lift up on this tile and see if I can break it free. So I'm just going to gradually wiggle this tile up and down to see if I can just break it a little looser every time. Once you break that, that mortar out, it's just going to pop down like so. Typically, there's no nails on the top course of tile because you have that roof to wall flashing and the nail holes are not accessible. So now that the top course mortars broke free and the tile slid down, it's going to expose some nails on the lower course of tile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cat's paw, I'm going to pry it underneath this nail, and I'm just going to pry up. So you can see once you get the nail up about a quarter inch, you're going to flip your cat's paw around and just pull it out. These tiles only have one nail per tile. They do have two nail holes, but this contractor just put one, one inch and a quarter nail on the bottom part of the tile. So once this nail is out, the tile is free to go. So now I'm just going to grab the tile and lift it straight up. And then I'll grab the other tile that I denailed and take this out. This is going to give me a nice landing pad to stand on. Also, what I'm about to show you here is going to come in handy later. So I'm going to pick the camera up and show you where the two nail holes are that we removed. So there's one and two. Later on, we're going to seal these things up. Okay, so now that I got four tiles removed, I have a nice landing pad to stand so I don't have to lay or walk on these tiles anymore. I can literally just expose the next row of nails and work my way all the way down to the ladder. This is how I'm going to ensure that I do not break any tile. So right here, I got my cat's paw and I'm just denailing these tiles and I'm going to lift them out. So I've been working my way down, I have the dormer off, and here's what I want to show you. You can see I'm kind of sliding my boot around right there, and I just want to warn you guys, be very careful when working on the roof. There's a lot of dirt and debris up here. This is left over from the home builder, all these tile chips. Um, the roofers that did this complex, this is a Newport Beach condo, they just threw all the old tile chips underneath the barrels so they didn't have to dispose of them. They just kind of do a blow and go pace to try and go as fast as they can, but like I said, you want to be very careful because it's very dusty, uh, a lot of debris, it's very easy to trip and fall. And this uh, felt paper, when it gets dust on top, it does become very, very slippery. So I cannot stress this enough. If you're not comfortable with heights or comfortable working on the roof, guys, do not attempt this. Um, it's not worth falling off to save a couple bucks. If you're not comfortable with it, just give your local roofer a call. Have them come out and give you an estimate. If you're in the Orange County area, give me a call. My company's name is KLC Construction and Roofing. I'll drop by and give you a free estimate.
So now I'm just gonna continue working my way down to the ladder and then I'm taking these tiles off and I'm stacking them to the side. The HVAC company should be back here in about a week to complete all the work. So I have all these tiles secured and what I'm gonna do after this is bulletproof the, the roof. You never know when a surprise rainstorm can come by so I want it to be all waterproof and I always wanna leave a client's home better than when I found it. All right, so I repeated the process from the top to the bottom and I made it all the way down without breaking any tile. Now I'm gonna take a minute to enjoy the beautiful view down here in Newport. So circling back to the beginning of the video, I mentioned that we were gonna do something with these exposed holes. When you pull a nail out, it leaves a hole. And I'm gonna leave this open for about a week and I don't want anything to happen, any kind of water leakage or anything like that. So I'm gonna take some silicone or some chem link and I'm gonna put it on these holes and then I'm gonna take my finger and just make sure it's nice and sealed. It's not enough water that can get in there to do damage, but it's just a nice gesture to do. I don't like any water getting in the house. All right, we're good to go now. Thanks for tuning in, and I should have a video in a couple weeks about how to put this tile back.